What makes a good main character? Is it a purpose? Is it a driving goal? Something like relatability, maybe? All these things can make a really good protagonist, but what makes them stand out? Well, it's the way they do these and what their actual goal is. So with Ichigo, sometimes it could be a little confusing because some people say he might not have a, uh, a driving goal to get better or anything. But does that make him a bad protagonist? It doesn't, and I'll tell you why here. First of all, let's debunk the fact that Ichigo has no goal. He has a goal, and it's very clear. Ichigo's goal, ever since the beginning of the series, is to protect. Even in the first few episodes, you can tell he just wants to protect. He protected that little boy against that spider hollow. I forgot the name of it, if it even has a name. And obviously, the first episode where he saves his sister. The point is that he wants to protect the people closest to him. For example, we have uh, Rukia in the Soul Society arc. He saves her. And Orihime during the Ronka arc, he saves her. And in the Fullbringer arc, you can tell he's frustrated that he doesn't have powers because he sees everybody around him getting hit and getting affected by these uh, Fullbringers. So now, at that point, he just wants to protect. Like, that's all he wants to do. In Thousand Year Blood War, he wanted to protect everybody. When I'm in an argument with somebody and they like to bring up the fact that Ichigo has no goal, I always whip out these facts right here. So just because a character doesn't want to be the best at something, aka Wizard King, Pirate King, Hokage, or something like that, then it doesn't even, it doesn't matter. You got the fact that he just wants to protect and that's a very valid goal, especially in the Bleach universe. Now imagine the story and how convoluted it would get if Ichigo wanted to be like the Captain Commander of the Gotei 13 or something along those lines. Second point is the backstory. So with Ichigo's backstory, it ties in to his actual goal to protect people. Because you know in the anime and manga, his mom died because he wasn't able to protect her. So that's, that's where it stems from. People like Midoriya or Naruto, they just want to be the best at something for no reason. I guess you could say Naruto wants to be the best because he wants to actually get recognized or whatever, but he already got recognized before. He would need no reason to become Hokage. Now, I'm not saying it's a bad backstory, but I'm just saying it's kind of cliche. And compared to Ichigo, I think Ichigo's is better. And if you read Thousand Year Blood War, you know that his powers are explained even further to the point where it actually makes sense. Unlike some main characters where they just got a random demon living inside of them. Another thing that makes Ichigo good relating to the backstory is that he doesn't use his dead mom as an excuse to like, you know, flashbacks, oh, my mom died, uh, I need to get better, I need to, I need to better myself because she died. Don't get me wrong, Ichigo did have his moments in earlier on in the series where, you know, he was sad about it or whatever, but that's understandable, who's not going to be sad about their dead mom? But it's not his driving focus throughout the whole series, it's just a couple episodes, a couple chapters where he actually, you know, brings that up as an excuse. Third reason why I think Ichigo is one of the better protagonists in Shonen. And that reason is that he's relatable. You know, he's not an outcast at school. He's pretty smart. You know, he's average, average guy. He just goes to high school and does his thing. But he has a curse. You know, he, he has to uh, view his ghost and stuff. The only reason he had to fight was to protect. And he gets dragged into all of this mess that happened throughout the series. The whole Aizen situation. The whole protecting his family for that hollow that's where it started and that is the only reason he is fighting if he if none of this happened he would still be a high school student he would not try to be get better at anything he just he just want to get by in life the reason it's so relatable is just because most of us like most of us watching this video probably you're in school work and just trying to get by you're just trying to do your own thing you know get to where you got to get in life and just live out your life Compared to where other main characters, their whole focus was just, like, their whole life was just dedicated to get better at something. For example, Luffy, his whole entire, the whole entire story is just him trying to, uh, Pirate King, find the One Piece. Uh, you know, be the greatest pirate that ever lived. And I'm not dissing One Piece, because One Piece is, like, my third favorite series, and I love it. But that's just the truth. And you're probably like, well, they want to get better at something. Who, what, what's so bad about that? Like, they just want to get good at something. And... Ichigo doesn't. If you say that, then I tell you, you're missing my point here. My point is that he doesn't have a cliche goal. He doesn't have a cliche driving factor. He just wants to do his own thing. And it's nothing wrong with having a thing to get good at something. Obviously, getting trying to get be the best at something is actually good. But 
Ichigo, with Ichigo, he's just trying to, you know, live a normal life, but he can't because obviously his powers, the whole Aizen setting up his life, and just so happened to have a demon living inside of him. But yeah, that's what makes Ichigo the best protagonist in Shonen or Shonen Jump or whatever. To me, just my personal opinion. You guys might agree, you might not. Tell me why in the comments below because I want to know. I want to know people's thoughts and I will debate back and forth with you guys if I feel like your point is actually stands. But thanks for watching anyway. Uh, subscribe, like, follow my Instagram, join my Discord by the way. You guys have not been joining my Discord? Well, we got a few people, but yeah, join my Discord. It'll be in the description. All of that will be in the description. Uh, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.